Hey guys, one question I get over and over from my students in my WordPress courses is um, how do I add that famous uh, responsive menu to the theme? Some call it like uh, the hamburger menu or uh, the tree line menu. And there are other students who ask me on the course, but Marcelo, you teach how to create that simple menu without uh, that drop down effect. What if I want to create a drop down menu? In one of my courses, I use a plugin to, to add this menu, which is both responsive and has the drop-down effect too. But some people don't like plugins. And that's why today I'll teach you how to add a bootstrap menu to a WordPress theme. It works like um, on every theme. You just need to adjust the menu to your theme. But it usually works out of the box, okay? We're gonna use a class called WP Bootstrap Navwalker. One of the benefits of this class is that it's fully compatible with the WordPress theme creation guidelines. It means that you can add it easily to your theme if your intention is to, uh, to send your theme to, to the WordPress repository, uh, the wordpress.org website, or Theme Forest, for example. Recently, I uploaded the theme to wordpress.org. In fact, I explained how I did it in, in my uh, WooCommerce theme creation course. The link, if you're interested, is in the video description below. And the theme uploaded has been approved without any problems by the WordPress team. This Navwalker class is already optimized for use uh, with Bootstrap version 4, but if you need it, you can use it as well with Bootstrap version 3. Well, let's go to the computer and I'll show you how to implement this menu. Well, uh, this is just some random theme I'm using as a test. Is a theme I started to build earlier with some things already set up and customized. This is not important because uh, you can use almost any theme to implement what I'm going to teach here, okay? So this theme has a menu. If you look at how it's set over there in the admin, appearance, menus, look at that. It's supposed to be like this. First uh, this item here, then this drop down, and these two items should only appear when I click this item. But looking at the front end, that's not exactly what we see. Let's go back to the front end. Look, it's all uh, like uh, messed up. So let's see how we can solve this problem. The first thing we'll need uh, for this tutorial to work is to register your menu in the functions.php file. I had already done this uh, just to show you the initial idea, but I'm going to open up my functions.php. I'm going to delete these lines here and we'll do it all together from the beginning. Let's first create what WordPress calls a menu position. To do this, uh, we call here a function named register nav menus. We open an array here inside. Let's pass a key and a value to register a menu. The key will be an identifier for the menu. Let's consider this as a variable. That is, no spaces, uh, no special characters, nothing like that. So, watch out. Uh, let's call this main underscore menu. And here are the value. Let's pass the description of the menu. Also, main menu. But here I don't have to follow so many rules. So here it doesn't need to be like a, uh, like a variable. And that's why it's written like this. Okay, um, now we have a menu position registered in WordPress. So great guys. Now we're gonna visit the WP Bootstrap Navwalker class website. Uh, you can access this link here. We're gonna download a copy of the files. Okay, from here I just need this file, class wp bootstrap navwalker.php. Let's copy this file to the theme folder. In this case, I'm going to create a folder called ink um, here in the theme directory. And I'll paste the file in here. Now what we need is to call the file inside the functions.php. Let's call it here at the beginning of the file, all right? Uh, before these scripts here. In fact, uh, just a reminder, 
This menu will only work if your theme is already working with Bootstrap, okay? If your theme doesn't include Bootstrap yet, you can do it the way I did it here. I'm not going to explain it now because I want to stay in the subject of this tutorial. But you can pause the video and copy these two lines here. One is for Bootstrap CSS and the other for JavaScript. Both are essential, okay? Going back to the class file, um, it's important that you call it here at the beginning of the file. So let's do it like this. Require once. Let's use the get template directory function. Concatenate it with the path to the file we've just downloaded. Don't forget this training slash, okay? It's very important. Otherwise, WordPress won't be able to find your file. Now, all you have to do is find the point in the theme where you want to add the menu, which is usually the header.php file. Well, um, here I also had already implemented the code, so I'm gonna delete it to show you from the beginning. In this case, this is the point in my theme where I want the menu to appear. We're gonna use a function called WP Nav Menu just to add our menu. And to make it easier, I'll go back there to the documentation for the class and I'll copy uh, the example they provide. This one here. We're gonna paste it here. Look here, the call from the function I mentioned, WP Nav Menu. Let me fix the code with some indentation. As you can see here, this code, uh, what it does is uh, it calls a new instance of the WP Bootstrap NavWalker class, uh, which is inside the file we copied. Uh, let me open up this file and you see. Look here. This class in turn extends the main WordPress menu class, which is this Walker Nav menu. From here, uh, we're gonna change the value of this first argument, theme location, which is extremely important. Here, you should pass the identifier for the menu position you've created. In our case, it's this one here in functions.php. The depth argument indicates the menu depth. The value one means that uh, there will be no dropdown and the value two means the opposite. I mean, that you want a dropdown menu. But you can set the value you want here, as long as you correct the presentation of the other submenus using CSS, alright? So, container, it indicates the HTML element that it will serve as the container for the menu. Uh, the bootstrap menu requires an element of the div type. Container class indicates the class of the container element, which in our case is a div, as I explained above. Container ID is the ID of the container element, uh, that div element again. Menu class uh, is the class to be added to the UL element of the menu. Fallback CD, this is very interesting. It calls the fallback method within the WP Bootstrap NavWalker class that you've added uh, to the theme. So this method is inside that class file. If you look at the file, you'll find it there, okay? It will only be called if no other menu is marked for the current menu position. So this value here. Or uh, sometimes when WordPress can't find this menu position. For example, in cases you misspelled the menu ID, its position name. By default, if you don't pass anything here, the value is WP page menu, which means that you will be calling the internal WordPress page menu if the menu position is not occupied. That's why you see a lot of page links displaying here uh, with all of the WordPress pages instead of the actual menu items you wanted to display. Often it's because you pass the menu ID here with the wrong name. So WordPress calls a default page menu with all pages you have in your installation. Here we only replace the default behavior by calling the nav walker menu of the new class. Walker, um, this one as already explained, uh, it calls a new instance of the WP Bootstrap NavWalker class, 
which in turn extends the default Walker Nav Menu class. Well, enough of this technical stuff. Uh, why do you have all this? This is all here to build the HTML markup of the Bootstrap menu. If you don't fill with these values, WordPress will never know what elements of the Bootstrap menu it needs to find in order to build the menu. That's uh, more or less what is happening here. But there's still a part of the menu missing, uh, so let's go back to the documentation. Let's copy the example from this help page. We already have the function call, so what we need is this part here. Let's replace this nav here uh, with the code we've just copied. And we also need this piece here. There you go. <laughs> Let's just fix the code a bit. Now let's finally see <laughs> if it's working. And <laughs> look at that. The look is much better. Now I can see the drop down items hidden here. So if I click here, now these two children items are displaying the right way. Now let's see if the menu is really responsive. <laughs> Perfect, check it out. Now I have the hamburger menu here. If I click on it... Perfect, everything's working fine. Uh, now that it's working, you can, if you want, customize the menu. For example, you can pass a class name ML Auto. This is the Bootstrap CSS class that you can pass to the menu class argument. And this can make the menu stand on the right side instead of the left side, which is the default behavior. See? Now it's on the right side. Since this is a bootstrap menu, you can use any bootstrap class and see what the menu looks like when you implement them. You can tweak the CSS. You can also remove this portion here. You just need to delete this snippet here. Or you can also pass the link to the homepage of the theme. Anyway, the most difficult is to implement the menu and now you already know how to do it. That's it! Now we got our bootstrap menu. Well guys, I hope you liked this tutorial today. And if you like it, please hit the subscribe button right below. Because I'll always be bringing uh, interesting subjects about WordPress here on this channel. And of course, click on the like button. Go ahead and do it right now. And if you like what I've just taught, you can click on one of the links in the video description below. You get more information about one of my complete courses about WordPress theme development. If this tutorial was helpful to you, I think you learn even more in my video courses. So I'm waiting for you there. See you next time.